Hello, welcome to this lesson in the Chemistry Tutor. Here we're going to learn about a law, a gas law, called Avogadro's Law. Now we've learned about Avogadro's number many, many times, used it many, many times in chemistry. Almost every problem uh, in chemistry uses Avogadro's number. Um, but Avogadro actually did a lot of exper experiments with gases as well. So what I want to do is write down what Avogadro's Law is, and basically we're going to take it to kind of a conclusion, and the conclusion that you reach from what this law actually is, is something that's very useful that we we'll use constantly throughout chemistry. So we'll just jump right into it. I don't like writing long definitions, but uh, in this case it's worth it. So Avogadro's Law, because this is the kind of stuff you're going to use all throughout chemistry. All right, basically what it says is at a fixed temperature and pressure. Fixed temperature and pressure. The volume of a gas is directly proportional. Proportional, it's supposed to say proportional. Directly proportional to the number of moles of the gas. And when we say number of moles of the gas, don't, don't forget what a mole is. A mole is 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd molecules or atoms or whatever it is you're talking about. 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. So when we say that the volume of a gas is directly proportional to the number of moles, what we're really saying is that the volume of a gas is directly proportional to the number of molecules that a gas has. Now this shouldn't come as a surprise. Now if you wanted to write it down mathematically, what it's basically saying is the volume of the gas uh, is directly proportional to the number of moles, which we always use the small letter n to represent the number of moles. What this is basically saying, and, and it's saying at a fixed temperature and pressure. So basically if you hold everything constant, because remember, I told you several times before, I'll write this maybe just over here, just on the top. Um, to completely describe a gas, you need the pressure, the volume, uh, the number of moles, and the temperature. Four variables. We can call those state variables because when you know all four of them, you know entirely the state of the gas. Okay? It's pressure, it's temperature, it's volume, and the number of moles. So if we're holding uh, temperature and pressure constant, these guys, the only thing left is the volume and the number of moles. And now this Avogadro's law is telling us that they vary directly. Okay, that means when the number of moles goes up, the volume goes up. When the number of moles goes down, the volume goes down. That makes total sense. I mean, it's actually common sense. If I have a balloon